Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? Welcome down here. I am uh, right on the uh, beautiful west coast and uh, today I'm going to be shooting a little bit of uh, some sunset photography and kind of going over some, uh, some ways that you can really capture the best sunset shots and, uh, and really take advantage of the, uh, the light. So the first thing that uh, I always really make sure that I, I do all the time now is just with a simple little cloth, wipe off the lens. I can't tell you how many times there's been just a little speck of dust or something on there where I've just been in too much of a hurry to, to really wipe that, wipe that off. So I'm um, really particular about that now because when you are shooting photography, especially in bright light, like during the sunset, any little speck of dust, anything like that, looks like there's actually a little fly on my lens right there, is really, really gonna show up. So just take an easy little step, get a cloth like this, and just uh, wipe off your lens. The thing I also do is uh, I always make sure to clean out uh, any of my filters and my, my circular polarizers before I, I put them on. You just wanna make sure that uh, all the glass that you're shooting with can be just as clean as possible. to start out with uh, a six stop ND filter here um, and then I also have a, a Nissi circular polarizer. We have uh, some really really amazing light that's just coming to, to hit right off of the uh, the rock formations that uh, they're right in front of me. Um, so it looks like it's going to be uh, suited for a really good uh, a landscape image here. All right, so this is, uh, this is what we're, we're working with here. I'm gonna be shooting the, uh, the big rock formations and the, the cliffs with the, the water bouncing off of the rocks here with an 8.0 aperture and then uh, four second long exposure. Need to work on my composition a little bit more, but uh, this is really kind of what we're, uh, what we're working with right now is uh, this big uh, seascape with, uh, with obviously a, a good sunset coming out right here. So a really big tip I would say when shooting the sunset is most often than not, you're not actually gonna be shooting directly into the sun. Often the sun is just extremely bright. It's, uh, it's often too bright to, to really be able to hone into that, that image. If you're able to get a silhouette or something in front of the sun, then it can really work. Um, but most often you're going to be working with some type of lens to give a subject um, like the sun is, is really beating off of the, uh, the rock formations right over here to the left. And uh, it's really making the water look pretty moody. It's a really, really nice, uh, nice blue reflection right here. So you can really see here how the, uh, the, the circular polarizer, when it's, uh, when it's off, it's really making the water look extremely flat. Going ahead and I turn the circular polarizer on, you can really see the effect that it has in the water. Um, it's really kind of bouncing that, uh, that nice sunset off of the water. It's making the colors a lot more vivid. Um, so it's, uh, it's really something that uh, is working to my advantage today. The best light is usually gonna be within about 30 minutes of the sun setting. And then you're going to also be able to really take advantage of, uh, of kind of like the golden hour going into blue hour. Um, about maybe 10 to 20 minutes after the sun goes down. What I find is often the best colors you're going to have are actually after the sun goes down. One thing that's a really a kind of a big must for me is I always use the back of my LCD screen here to, to really view the images. There's not often many times that, uh, that I'll look into the, uh, into the camera. Um, I, I think this is the, the best way to, to really frame a shot. I mean, best view um, of what uh, of what you're really trying to capture like right there that looks uh, really really good okay so we're about 12 minutes away from the sunset um, it's already starting to look uh, look fairly dark here um, but I'm really getting a good capture right off of the water here it's uh, it's just looking like a very vivid blue um, and I'm really really impressed by the uh, the ultimate color that uh, 
that is coming up. I think it is ultimately a really, really good contrast with uh, with just kind of being a moody sky. There's the there's kind of a, a dark clouds that are actually over me right now, which is fairly rare because out here on the coast, it's not too often that uh, we get kind of this dense of a cloud. So I think it's really gonna make for, for a moody image. Okay, so we're really starting to get some nice color here. Um, one thing I'm, uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to check the exposure. I'm going to bump up the, uh, the ISO. I really like where my shutter speed and uh, my aperture is. Um, I'm going to put it on the uh, two second timer and let's see how this turns out. I think it's going to be a good one. Yeah, so I'll put this up as a, a full shot on the image here, but this one is uh, turning out really good. I'm getting a really good motion down here in the water. It's, it's looking really, really good. I'm getting a lot of color, and uh, as the sun continues to go down, I'm just gonna continue to get a little bit more color out of this, uh, really kind of uh, against the, uh, the subject. Um, so that, that's one thing that, uh, that I would really recommend, and one thing I think is uh, really important is to, to really plan out um, your, your subject and what your composition is going to look like because um, just shooting a beautiful sunset isn't necessarily going to make a great image. One thing that you're really going to need to do is to, to have a really, really good composition there. All right, so I'm going to try to shoot this right as the water comes in and then uh, we're going to have the, the water kind of coming out while some water's hitting the rock and it's, uh, see it's creating a really, really good, uh, good image there. Another crucial thing I haven't mentioned yet would be the, uh, the importance of a tripod. As the light is getting darker, uh, often you're going to have to do a long exposure um, just to, to really expose the image properly. Another thing that's really going to be good about a doing a long exposure is not just getting this exposure correctly, but if you are shooting a really, really beautiful sunset, something with a lot of color, then you're going to be able to hold more light in with a longer exposure. Um, so if there's a really good light bouncing off here, the long exposure is really gonna make that, that light pop. Yeah, so I'm really getting some good light going, uh, going this direction. So I'm going to uh, be shooting, I'm gonna be shooting again. I have to try, uh, try to do a couple different exposures to, to really kind of get some more, some more light into the camera here. Okay. All right, so we'll shoot that. I'm gonna try a 15 second exposure right now. And uh, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but we're really getting some beautiful light coming off of the rock right there, just like I had thought. Um, so I'm really looking forward to, to that. So there's really a beautiful sunset coming out right here, and it's really illuminating just my, in, this entire image. So I'm gonna be uh, taking as, as many images as I can right here, just really to, to kind of capture this light. The light's gonna be moving really, really quickly. so. I need to, to take advantage of that. And uh, something you'll notice is as it gets darker and darker, you end up having to actually do a manual focus more and more. Couldn't be more pleased with this. I, uh, I go and I, I shoot let, um, sunset a lot and I've shot this particular place, but I actually haven't seen the light quite as good as it's bouncing off right here. All right, so let's see how the image turned out. And uh, yeah, that, uh, this is really, really turning out to be a fabulous image. Uh, the light is looking really, really good. Uh, I might try a, a little bit different composition facing the other way next time, but uh, I'm really, really happy with uh, how this sunset shoot turned out. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna pack up my gear and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. 
Um, but I really appreciate you guys coming along. I hope you learned something from this video and I'm also really looking forward to, to making more videos like this. So if you did enjoy this, please go ahead and let me know what uh, your thoughts were on this, uh, this type of video. I'm really, uh, really excited to, uh, yeah, to make more of these. This is a, a really fun video to kind of plan out and, uh, and take some shots with. So yeah, let me, know, uh, let me know what you thought about that down in the comments here. If you haven't already, please go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. It's right here right below, somewhere down here on the screen. Um, also, go ahead and hit the like button uh, if you enjoyed the video. Um, but uh, I do make videos every single Tuesday, and uh, I think in the, the next coming weeks, I'm gonna be trying to shoot two or three videos um, per week. If you have any other topics of photography that you'd like me to cover, uh, I'm more than happy to, to go over those. Um, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here. I'm going to, to get the, uh, the gear all packed up back into my bag and uh, I will see you guys in the, uh, the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.